Hi all, in this video I would like to demo Google Cloud DataFlow Streaming Data Processing. So in our previous video we have seen how we can process batch data using DataFlow. Right? So here are the some prerequisites and assumptions needed for this demo as well. One should already have some good understanding of all these listed GCP services and also the basic understanding of Python programming. I will also go through each of this service on high level. Dataflow. Dataflow is a unified batch and streaming data processing service. By using this, we can process big data in parallel and distributed manner. Apache Beam SDK, it's a programming model to create pipelines, right, which can be run on different runners like Dataflow and other open source runners like Spark. Blink, etc. BigQuery, it's a petabyte scale enterprise data warehouse available on GCP platform. So, data can be stored and analyzed using standard SQL. GCS is a object storage service available in the GCP. So, you can store any kind of data like structure, unstructured, or semi structure. Cloud Shell, Cloud Shell is an interactive shell and run for Google Cloud platform, right? It comes with some pre built up instance software. Right. You can interact with any other GCP services through CLI using Cloud PopSub is a global messaging service which works based on publisher and subscriber model and also allows services to communicate as Cloud Scheduler is a fully managed grant app available in the GCP. Right. You can schedule any job using our standard grant app. Right. So then we'll go to our use case too, where we'll try to demo streaming data processing. Right. So here is the use case. I would like to go through each and every step here. Right. So just observe the reference architecture shown in the bottom of the slide. Right. What we are trying to do is, so right now we don't have a devices or resources which can generate streaming data, right? So to mimic or generate streaming data, I'm trying to leverage or use Cloud Scheduler in this use case, right? So Cloud Scheduler, as I already explained, right? So it's a fully managed grant app. So what we are trying to do is, we will try to basically schedule a job which will send a message right at every one minute interval right that's what i'm trying to do in the first step through this front up scheduler job we will receive a message at every one minute interval time so that will be published to a pub sub topic right at every one minute interval so from the PubSub topic, we'll try to read that message into our data flow pipeline, right? So here, once it is available into data flow pipeline, then we will try to perform certain transformation on top of each message, right? So here we'll, we are trying to perform some basic uh, transformation. So I don't want to make it too much complex in this demo. Let us keep it simple. So I will try to explain what we are trying to do, right? What we are trying to do, right? So every every one minute we'll receive a message from PubSub topic. So we'll try to append an arrival timestamp to each message. And also we'll try to append some numeric key for reference, right? So here we, we have to understand this streaming data processing, right? How it can be processed using data flow, right? Usually the standard practice is streaming data means continuously coming data. There, there won't be any uh, basically uh, uh, what you say uh, boundaries, right? It's unbounded data, right? It's continuously coming from the source. But to process it, somehow we need to divide it into some fixed windows kind of thing, right? So for that, what I've done is, 
So, I have divided this unbounded data into fixed windows based on every 2 minutes. What I will do for every 2 minutes I will read the messages right and then I will append timestamp uh, and also some numeric key then I will try to write the data into BigQuery so, right in the reference architecture diagram it is clearly mentioned at each and every step what we are trying to do. So, I hope you understand it clearly yeah. right. So, now for every 2 minute window we are going to have 2 messages right because for every minute we are receiving the message right. So, then 2 minute in 2 minutes window we are going to have 2 messages with timestamp and numeric key appended right. So, this is the use case and I also like to explain the pipeline command which we are going to submit it to cloud shell right and then I will also walk to the code on high level right. So, here if you see the pipeline command right. So, as discussed in the batch data processing here also the almost same right. So, stream data flow is a python program or pipeline where our code is written right and the project where you are trying to submit the data flow streaming job and also region region. So, this is one of the imparted parameter because based on this only your data flow worker will be uh, get spinned up and your workflow will be running in this region right. Here input topic in, in case of batch you will try to read data from GCS or other sources but in streaming case here right we are trying to read data from PubSub topic that is where if you see stream data flow is a topic created for this use case we are trying to read messages okay from the stream data flow topic. I already discussed PubSub box in a publisher and subscriber model. In this case, Cloud Scheduler is a publisher where it publishes messages at every one minute interval and data flow is acting as a subscriber. It extracts or receives the message from PubSub topic at every one minute interval. Right? Then it group that messages based on the fixed window every two minutes by appending timestamp and a numeric key. Then it will write the data into the query. Right. Now the output path it defaulted it to some GCS bucket. Okay, and the runner is data flow runner, and the temp location is this. So, so temp location is used used by the data flow job to write some its internal files. Right. Now if you see there are two important input arguments like window size and number of shots. So, window size I already told I am passing parameter as a 2. So, inside my pipeline code right. So, what I am doing I am multiplying this particular numeric number with the number of seconds 2 into 60 right. So, then it will be like 120 seconds it is a 2 minute window. The number of shots is the, the concept of shot is like this ok right. So, if you take because our data will be processed in distributed manner right. For example, let us say uh, based on our workload there are some two workloads have been spinned up and then our workload has to be distributed uh, across these two workers right. Then what will happen right based on the number of share shards right our entire workload or data will be divided into equal chunks two equal chunks and it will be distributed across these two workers and it will be once the process is done it will be collected by the data flow master and then it will be submitted back to the scaling environment right. This is how a parallel processing will be uh, it will be done right yeah. Let us move on to the code right then then we will see the demo. right okay here is the code for this stream data processing in the first step right so here it is the uh, the import statement right whatever the modules or packages are being used as part of this pipe so the first thing is group by message by fixed window this is one class 
so what we are trying to do is here is right so we are trying to perform multiple transformation on single p collection so p collection is a distributed data storage in apache beam pipeline right it's a distributed data set where you can store any amount of data so that can be processed parallel and distributed manner right so if we have to perform multiple transformation on top of a p collection then we are going to use this type of functionality right so here what we are trying to do if you see we are we are trying to do right so we are using parallel as a parallel do where we are trying to add timestamps to each and every message right and also once we add the timestamps we will also try to add numeric key each and every message so here we are trying to perform two transformation one is adding timestamp and also one is adding numeric right and then we are grouping based on the window size okay so this is the pardo parallel do so this is basically uh, it's getting called inside this composite transformation class okay then we have some simple method to parse data so finally what we are trying to do we are trying to write this data into bigquery right i already discussed in order to write some data into bigquery first of all it should be readable by the bigquery it should be either in dictionary format or in json format so we are trying to convert it to dictionary format in this function right whatever the data passed to this function it will be converted into dictionary format or bigquery row format right so then we have a run method it's an entry file to the actual pipeline if you see right you have to observe this particular parameter streaming is true so don't specify this particular parameter this whole pipeline will be considered as a batch all right so since it is defined as streaming as true then it will be considered as a stream streaming means this pipeline is going to run forever till you cancel it or drain this pipeline all right so here we have the pipeline and series of transformation that we have been performing right on top of this data streaming data right reading the information message from pubs up topic and then window into that's where we are trying to append time stamps and also numeric numbers to each message and we are grouping right and then we are converting the data into bigquery readable format then we are writing the data into bigquery right so here we have the main method and then since we are reading input arguments from the command line we have to define that right each and every parameter we have to default each and every parameter some value that's what we are doing here right yeah i hope you understand this code and high level let's move on to the demo okay so let me submit my streaming pipeline i just submitted this pipe right there is some error okay yeah now it is running 
sometimes that will happen right because I, since I copied the command from the text editor sometimes it won't recognize that indentation and everything else. I just authorize it now it is running okay so it will take some time to spin up data flow workers so meanwhile we'll go to the dat data flow console right we'll see what is happening let us refresh if you see the job the streaming job has already been submitted now it is in running stage right let us see uh, as per our architecture, so messages has to come through our Google Cloud scheduler. Let us see if that scheduler is on and running. Right now it is in past it. Let me resume it so that it will publish messages at every one minute time interval. Okay. Now it's resume. Now it will take some time, right, to propagate these messages to PubSub topic and then from PubSub topic to data flow. And then data flow will perform transformation and then it will be written to BigQuery, right. So it will take some time. So till that time, we'll have to wait and we'll try to explore some other things. If you see here, uh, job is still not still running uh, worker it says starting one worker in asia south a region workers have started successfully right. let us go to the if you see this job is in running stage right so light green means it's still running right so in case of streaming it will be running forever okay if you see the right side panel job information okay job name job id sdk version number of workers are being used since how much time it is running this is the hardware related information right and you can see the pipeline option here the runner right staging location temp location everything so that exp our expected outcome is this if you see the code right here we are trying to write our data into BigQuery this is our data set sorry this is our data set this is our table so right now this table is not available in the BigQuery so once this started writing the messages into BigQuery then it will create the table and start writing messages to that table okay right now i don't see that table is created we have to wait right so it's still running okay let us go to the job still running here it will say sorry it, it says if you see right once that messages are being written into bigquery here there will be one kind of information displayed right streaming data kind of thing we'll see that soon we'll have to wait till that time okay. uh, and also meanwhile right so see if you see right total streaming data earlier this this is not there now now you can see total streaming data processed 16 kilobyte right so now as per my expectation this table must have created in our bigquery data set this is the data set then messages started coming into the bigquery Okay, let us see. Let us refresh this page. See, this table is created. You click on this table, then preview this table. 
right now you can see two messages arrive right so it's keep an appending messages since it's a streaming job we'll keep an appending this data to the BigQuery table right so let us go to the right data flow console and there is there are there are some few other important things I would like to discuss here there is a section called logs right so you can also see the logs the job logs right pertaining to this job right over here if there are any error there are any information everything will be displayed here and it is immediately available it will be available till that job is running right so you see that worker configuration what kind of worker in one standard to and which region okay how many workers are spinned up and running if there are any error clearly it, it it will be available here based on that you can debug your pipeline and you can fix that issue right here clearly you can see total streaming data process here t1.45 right so let us go to the pubsub topic as well we'll see This is our topic, right? This is where the cloud scheduler is sending its messages, right? You can see the data, right? Here, there are some interactive dashboards available in PubSub. And so, you can see data is coming up, right? Let us go to the BigQuery and refresh once again. Let us preview now. Now you can see three messages have been added. Right? Like that, it will add messages at every two minutes window. So messages are receiving on every one minute interval. It group those two messages based on the two minute interval. It will append that. Okay. All right. Uh, let us go to the data flow. Now I will try to stop this job. Right. So, because since, since it's a streaming data, it will be running forever. In order to stop it, I have to click on the stop button. Here you can see two important options. One is cancel and one is drain. So, cancel usually it's not a best or better practice to go for this option. If you go for this option that cancel, so job will be immediately cancelled abruptly, and by the time any pending job or pen, pending data to be processed it it will be it will be come out abruptly it won't process that pending data but in case of drain right it's a soft exit right so what it will do right it will process the pending data then it will come out from the job so usually it is a standard and good practice to go for drain in case of streaming data process okay so i'm selecting this option and I just click stop job right okay, let us go go back to the job window you can see it's training it will take some time right so because right it has to process the pending data right okay let us go to the BigQuery window once again let us see if some more messages see how many messages are there there are six messages have been added okay this is how we can process streaming data using data flow okay so if i hope you understand i, mean, I hope you understand the entire process if you have any questions you can always come back to me thank you